Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Ten Million Computers' performance of Seconds from Suicide. It gets better. Please, at this time, turn off your cell phones. Please refrain from texting, taking pictures, and using any type of recording devices or talking during tonight's performance. Thank you so much for joining us, and please sit back, relax, and enjoy Pandemonium Theater Group's performance of Seconds from Suicide. It gets better.
I know an apology won't bring back a life. I'm sorry, Luke. I didn't want to kill you. I just wanted you to stop. Perhaps you could say that I did the world a favor. I mean, if he was so mad at me in high school, hated me that much, who knows what he could have grown into. He threw the N-word around a lot, but not as much as the F-word. The other F-word. He was filled with so much hate. For others, sure, but he hated me. Luke could probably tell that I wasn't straight. But why did he have to make such a big deal about it? I don't even understand my own sexuality. But Mr. Rollins said, that's for me to figure out. On my own time. I know you want me to say that I'm sorry, but I'm not. I'm sick of apologizing for having an opinion. I'm sick of apologizing because some sensitive moron can't take a joke. I beat him up. Yeah. I hit his baggy little nose until it gushed blood, but I didn't kill him. I was helping him toughen up. A good man needs to know how to take a beating and then get back up and keep walking. So the way you could say I was Richie's mentor. I mean, I've heard about those guys who beat up gays so bad that they die. I didn't take Richie's blood. He took mine. I was trying to make him stronger. Shit, I made him stronger. Look at him before. He was some shaky little boy. He needed a bully. He needed me because what he's going to face out there in the real world, that's way worse than anything I could ever dream of throwing at him.
indicated a columnist and author Dan Savage and his partner Terry Miller gave him to the team. They wanted to create a personal way to support us everywhere to entire hope for young people to make the time. To make Get Better Project has become a worldwide movement, starring more than 4,000 years of creative video commissions from celebrities, organizations, activists, media personalities, and politicians in the city of President Barack Obama, all to tell LGBT youth that you have to tell them to get better. We will share with you, retell, vocalize some of those video commissions, their words, their fears, their passion, and their support. Dan Savage and Terry Miller, video created September 21st, High school is bad. No open the gate people at my school. I was obviously gay. My school was a If you look that way, talk that way, walk that way, act that way, are that way, there's nothing we can do to help your son. But I love you to the way. However bad it is now, it gets better. And it can get great. Your life can be amazing, but you just have to tough the period out and live your life so you can be around for the day. Those moments make it work sticking out for bullying and the pain of these fair high school. You will have moments like that, and so many more ahead of you. It's my adult self to talk to my 14 year old self and tell him anything to help him really believe the year self might have too much fight to There really is a good thing to do. And one day you will have friends that will love and support you. You will find love, you will find a community that can make it better. But the biggest don't win. People who are picking on you then are irrelevant. I would say that living well is the best revenge. And if you can live through high school, which you can, you can totally live through high school. Here is what I have a great life. And it will be the envy of all those people who pick on you. Just check it out. It's painful now, but it's going to get so much better. In September 2010, in that one month, six, which we know of, LGBT youth took their own lives. Tyler, Asher, Seth, Billy, Raymond, Cody. Each gave up their fight, each died at their own hands, in one month. October 1st, 2010, Raymond Chase, 19, was outgoing, popular, and openly gay. His Facebook proudly stated, I like to have fun, I like to laugh, and I am gay. The popular John and the real self of his own life. Ray, as his friend called him. Let's just say a ray of sunshine who wrote notes to his loved ones, filled with praise and deep affection for them, but no explanation for his actions. That He hung himself in the dorm room. According to the Providence, Rhode Island Police, there is no indication that Ray suffered at the hands of anything but his own deeds. Raymond Chase, 19, dead. Richie! Richie, you're going to be late for school! If he wants to ride for me, he better be down here in two minutes. I can't be late for school today. Come on now, you are late for school every day. Yeah, but i got to get there before Sarah does. She is this really cute girl that I've been wanting to ask out for months, and well, today is the day. Well, if your brother is late, I'll take him to school. He's got that solar system project to carry after all. Sorry, I'm late. Could have fell out. I had to go back in place. Pluto is not a planet. It hasn't been for a few years now. Should have happened to magic school, plus math is outdated. It's too late, dude. Fix it at school. If you want to go with me, let's hit it. Oh, Richard, here, take some toast. Oh, now you got an asteroid. Oh, that's super cool. Oh, and hey, you forgot your gym clothes. I was hoping you'd forget about that. I don't want to go to the today. Oh, come on. Don't be such a homo. Peter Anderson, do not use that word. Sorry, Mom. <clears throat> don't be such a pussy. You're pushing it, Peter. Richie's afraid some kid at school's gonna beat him up. It's not a big deal. This guy, Luke Johnson, he's kind of the school bully. Well, mostly towards Mr. Sissy boy over here. I'll be in the car. I don't know what he's afraid of. The guy is a fool. I could take him in a heartbeat. Brother's getting big food? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't worry about it though. Like I said, the guy is all talk. No, well, most bullies often. Yep. 
Then she just has to learn how to roll with the punches, because we can't all be as cool and smooth with the lady desire. Okay, sweetie. You can be cool and smooth with the ladies after you've had your first date. <laughs> Bully, stop teasing me. Go to school, Peter. On October 21st, 2010, the White House was loaded President Barack Obama's video message of hope and support for the It Gets Better campaign. We have to spell this myth that bullying is on the right passage. Some inevitable right growing up. It's not. I don't know what it's like to keep off the game day, but I do know it's like to go off sometimes and feel like you don't belong. It's tough. And for a lot of kids, the feeling of being alone or apart I know it can just wear on you. And when you're teased or bullied, you feel like somehow you've blotted out yourself for being different and not fitting in with everybody else. What I want to say to you is this. You are not alone. You didn't do anything wrong and you didn't do anything to deserve getting bullied. There's a whole world waiting for you filled with endless possibilities. And there are people that love you and care about you just the way you are. And more than that, this time, you're going to see your differences are a good surprise and a perfect chance. As a nation, we are founded on the belief that all of us are equal, and each of us deserve the freedom to pursue our own version of happiness, to make the most of our talents, keep our minds, to not fit in, most of all, to be true to ourselves. That's the freedom that enriches all of us. That's what America is all about. And every day, it gets yeah. better. years old, Jamie Rodemeyer took his own life after years of bullying because of struggles with his sexuality. Tracy and Tim Rodemeyer say their son, Jamie, faced bullying for years, and that it intensified as he entered his freshman year. The kids who are a bully have to realize that words are very powerful. What you think is fun and games isn't to some people, and you are destroying a lot of lives. This was said by Jamie's father, Tim. Tracy, his mother said, it took him away from our family way too early. And we're just convinced that he had a purpose on this planet, and it was to touch as many people as he could. Jamie's video details just how intense the bullying was. His parents say their son seemed happy in the days leading up to the tragedy, and that Jamie seemed to remain outwardly optimistic. That's all you have to do. Just love yourself and then set. And I promise, it'll get better. We wish it bad for him. Jamie Rodemeyer, 14, dead. <coughs> Mr. Rollins, sir? Hello, Mr. Anderson. You're not sick or you're dead. You just been class today. Yeah, I got called up with something. It won't happen again. I signed the book before you next week. What happened to your eye? Oh, this? I, uh, I was showering at the gym and I slipped and fell. I had to go to the nurse's office. That's why I was in class. I, uh, I don't believe you. Hey, if you weren't in my costume, then I would. But if there is a problem, I want you to feel comfortable in finding it. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, another student of business from class today. Um, uh, there's a Mr. Johnson. Well, since you were the two only absentees today, you get to work together on a paper. Can I get an all right? Yeah, he wasn't talking to Hey, boys! 
if you had been inclined, you could have chosen your own partner, whatever. Luke, you seem like a guy who appreciates a good story. Have you noticed your classmate here has a black eye? Huh. Yeah. Huh. Would have happened to know how he got that black eye, would you? Because I heard a pretty funny story. I told you. I, I told sleep. you I'd rather hear it from you. Probably not going to go ahead when he was opening his mouth. He told me he fell in the locker room. And you two had been class together. I would remember if my classmate fell so hard, he got a black eye. I mean, that's a pretty funny scenario. Because I missed all the action. Mm -hmm. Okay. See you tomorrow in class. And on time. You can tell me. Who takes it? I told you to slip and fell in the trap. You know, I put a lot of I don't think I'm a lot. Yeah. Uh, I've got Hold on. Hold on. Perverted, unnatural, and damned to hell. 
I know that it's hard. I know what it feels like to be abused and rejected for your biological sexual orientation. I know how it feels to live in a world with government-sanctioned homophobia, but I refuse to be treated like a second-class citizen. The friends I lost were abused, and yes, I lost my family. And not every coming out story is grasp is mine, however, I'm giving you this condensed history to tell you this. It gets better. Back when I was in the closet, I never dreamed that I would be able to express my sexuality or have a normal relationship. I have, and you will too. You will date, fall in love, fall out of love, have your heart broken, just like the rest of us. You will love and be loved. You have an entire life with this first opportunity ahead of you. Don't ever give up. And don't ever for one second think you are not a valuable and beautiful contribution to this world. It gets better. With love, Air Jane. Just one short month after posting his own It Gets Better video, Eric James Gorgeous took his own life. Eric James, to his friend, was an intern with the Trevor Project. And in his video, he spoke frankly of being tormented throughout his adolescence and young adulthood. I was physically, mentally, emotionally, and verbally assaulted on a day-to-day -day basis because of my perceived sexual orientation. My name was not Eric. It was Faggot. Eric James Borges, 19, dead. One shot away from a PGA championship. And she would be tired. And she would take down Nicholson. And she conquer her own expectations. <laughs> you got my email, I'm sure. This is your baby mushroom. Yes, I got it. And I understand completely. It reveals you to be a very compassionate teacher. But the school board and I proof of a threat to a student. Uh, I'm telling you that one of my sweetest students came to me with a black eye after missing class, clearly having been beaten up. How much more proof do you need? Well, we are not the students. We are public school administrators. Unless someone sees the kid punch another one, we're not getting involved. These students come here to learn. One of our responsibilities is to eliminate any distraction no, from No, that is not our responsibility. We provide an education. It is their choice to take it or not. You put a dress code eliminating revealing out the time girls. You cut the lunch hour short, so students spend more time in class, but when bowling comes up, you just turn the other way. That's not the center. I am getting a condescending attitude from you, Mr. Rollins. I don't care for it. I run my school here well. We have the highest college admission in the state. Above average SAT scores and an athletic department that rates in a lot of money. Are you hearing yourself? Are you through with your type of question? I'll be through when I get some logical answers. Listen, I realize you have a chip on your shoulder for being teased in high school for your lifestyle. Uh, but <laughs> I wasn't teased. I was bored. And as for my lifestyle, I got no wonder our students are so prejudiced. Their authority figures are as ignorant as that. Oh, regardless, this is not an issue I wish to meddle with. Kids will be kids. You are bullied. You just said so yourself and you turned out all right. Why should I get involved? I bet you'll have a different response from one of your students who says. Unless it's a gay one. I've been with the same 
same woman since 1998, and I know how demeaning it feels, even now, to have other people who don't know us decide whose relationships get to be legally branded. I know how it is hateful and mean-spirited space and hurt. My wife and I have three children. Can I see the world they and you are coming up in with all of its faults, but please hear me, it really does get better. I am absolutely heartbroken by all of the amazing people we've lost, but I want you to know you are not alone. Every person who has made a video loves you and respects you and can't wait for you to join us out in the world of acceptance that we found and continue to create every day. Please don't give up. We really are out here. In a vote of seven to one, the Norman Oklahoma City Council approved a resolution to make October LGBT History Month. But not before three hours of intense debate back and forth between members of the community that failed so hard against LGBT inclusion that it was the underlying cause for Zach to take his own life a week later. Zach Harrison's 19 was an inspiring musician when he played in the school with band and orchestra and was the first male pastor of the corridor. It was also where Zach comes from taunted by his classmates for his sexual orientation. Zach Harrington, 19. Dead. Listen. Yeah. You. You don't think that I don't hear your taunts and slanders in the hallway. You think merely just because I'm walking away, I can't hear any of the crap that you're saying about me. And you. You just watched as your friend beat me to a pulp. How can you be with someone who you know is a bigot? Well, I guess that just makes you a bigot yourself. A passive aggressive who just lets the abuse happen. You clearly do not care enough to do anything about it. Doesn't anyone understand how hard this is? I didn't choose to be different. I wish that I could feel the same excitement around girls that I do around boys. But I don't. <laughs> Your mother said it's only when she finds out. That's such a weird little queer. Did you wear a mask when it was in the mirror? Because I would kill myself when I could look at that mug every morning. <laughs> Bad, queer, outcast. So probably get babies and die a lonely, sick old man. I heard he get out of phone her turn into his class wrestling. <laughs> what a pervert. The Bible says that God hates homosexuality and if it's left in this God, then it's left. We should do God a favor and kill them all. Why is it that you just put a gun to them already? God hate bags and so do I. Asher Brown, 13, an eighth grader at Hamilton Middle School, shot himself in the head after being bullied to death. Asher was kicked on for being small, for his religious beliefs, for the way he dressed, and for being gay. That's his mother Amy and stuff all the baby places and notified the administration school about the Sunday taunting, but no action was taken. Actually, he was taken his life and his father was nine million years later. He did not mean at all. His body was found by his father David. My son put a gun to his head because he couldn't take what he was hearing and the constant teasing. Amy, his mother said. They called him different names for being homosexual. And he just had enough. Asher Brown, 13, dead. A poor varsity councilman, Joe Burns, reached out to LGBT teens with a personal message of hope. At the city council meeting on October 12, 2010, Joe Burns shared his story. There is a conversation for adults in this room to have, and we will have it. That the bullying and harassment in our schools must stop, and our schools must be a safe place to learn and to grow. It is never acceptable for us to be the cause of any child to feel unloved or worthless. But tonight, I want to talk to the 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I know that life is 
I know that the people in your household or in your school may not understand you, and they may physically harm you. But I want you to know it gets better. When I was in the ninth grade, I was ported up to school by some old people who broke the He called me a faggot and said I should die and go to hell where I belong. Shame, humiliated and confused, I went home. There must be something very wrong with me, I thought. Something I could not share with my family or anyone else for that matter. I've never told this story to anyone before tonight. The numerous suicides in recent days have upset me so much and have just torn at my heart. This story is for the young people who might be holding that gun tonight, or the rope, or the pill bottle. You need to know that the story doesn't end where I didn't tell it on that unfortunate afternoon. There is so, so much to know. High school was difficult. Coming out was painful. But my life has so much better. And I want to tell any teen who might see this, give yourself a chance to see just how much better life will get. And, and it, it will get better.
I'm gay, Pete. I, I mean, heard you. I needed to tell someone. And I thought that out of all the people I could tell, it could be you. You would be the one that I would, out of everyone, that I would want to tell first.